Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you a way you can use the Unison FX module. And you're probably wondering, what is that? But it's a new module that was just released, and what it allows you to do is take the input from an oscillator, a noise source, etc., and process it using some Unison effects or filters. So the one before, Unison, here, you could put things in, like, oh, I can put an oscillator or something in there. But you notice here, you can't input anything into it. Whereas the new module here, Unison FX, ah, oh, the input goes inside it. So that way you can save some CPU if you have, let's say, an oscillator or something. And you think, I don't want to you know, necessarily duplicate that and waste you know, my CPU doing that. I just want to duplicate, like, let's say, the filters or the chorus or something like that delay. So that's what we're going to go over today. So first off, I have a drum synthesizer 4 in in, and I'm just having it make a like, small click sound like this. So it's just a sine sweep. I show this in other videos on physical modeling, but I uh, just want to make sure you know what it is. Uh, so here, I'm going to use the modal filter. I'm going to turn all the harmonics on like this. Okay, you turn it down a bit. And let's just go into the structure. And let's add this bamboo. In my other videos, I showed how to do this. Uh, this is just a basic sound I showed before. Uh, doesn't sound much like bamboo, but if we turn down the resonance like this. Ooh, right okay, so you get the idea. Now... By itself, like that isn't too special, but let's try to do something interesting with it. So let's copy it here, and then we can delete it. Now, we'll just go into here. And if you want to pull that screen up, all you have to do is just right click on any module and that screen will come up. Uh, now we're going to use the Unison FX module. Turn the voices down for now. Now, if we right click here, we can paste the modal filter inside, and it should sound exactly the same. Now, we can just increase the voices, like this. But one thing you probably noticed, you're like, hey, it just sounds louder. It doesn't sound like there's anything going on. Now, if we increase the detuning, you can hear it sounds a bit different. If we use a high amount of detuning, it'll sound really different, like this. But that's not what we want. I want it to sound like an actual like group of people hitting these kind of, uh, I don't know, what are they, bamboo blocks at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a delay. So let's go in here and make sure you use the delay, not the delay tap. And first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to turn the dry down. Make sure it's on classic so that way the first delay won't be affected by the feedback and turn the feedback down. So we're just going to have one delay. We can turn the gain up just a little bit. And we're going to turn the delay down to zero. So now it should sound exactly the same. There's nothing going on. But what we're going to do is add sequence here. Use sequence one here. And what this is going to do is it's going to uh, have each voice play slightly differently in time. So the first voice is going to be zero. And then... Maybe our last voice will be, let's say, like 236 or so, okay? Now, with one voice, it's just going to be at zero, like this. Don't notice anything. But let's try four voices. You can hear, oh, it is. It's, uh, uh, but the voices are playing between zero milliseconds and, was it, 200-something milliseconds. So that's good, but it still doesn't sound exactly how I want it to sound. And that's because it's all in the same panorama. So what we're going to do here is just go in here and use sequence. Same thing. Now all we're going to do is just turn this up. But if you notice I do that, ah, it's only going to the right. So we're going to use up and down mode. And now it's going left and right. So it'll be spread all throughout the stereo field. And it should sound like this. Now that's cool. Increase the detuning or decrease it, however you want. Set that however you like. But that's basically what we want. If you don't want it to play uh, with the same 
spacing of delays each time, what we can do is actually go into here and use true random instead. So now it'll randomly be between uh, zero and the, what, 200 value. One of the problems you'll find with this though is that the first voice sometimes won't be at zero milliseconds, so it'll sound like there's a delay in your playing or in your hit. So what we can do is just turn the dry up here, turn the first delay up to, I don't know, whatever you want, let's say like 15 or something, 17, there we go, and then just turn this down, back down to where it was, like this. And you want to move it down and make it a little bit tighter like this. Okay. So there's more you can do with that uh, to try to make it sound better. You can add filters so each uh, delay had a slightly different filter uh, and other things. There's lots of different effects in here we could do things with. But I think for now, eh, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and let me change it. I'll move it back to sequence. I actually like it better on sequence for this sound. Uh, uh, okay, try there. Okay, and turn this down. Now, let's try the same thing, but let's use a resonator now. Okay. And so we can go into here. Turn the feedback up this <laughs> playing's off but you get the idea we can have uh different types of like string sounds but let's try to do something maybe slightly more interesting let's try to get like a, almost like a piano sound so let's turn the voices down to one here and now let's move the low pass filter down so the attack isn't quite so sharp now let's listen to it Okay, that's starting to sound like a piano, but there's still some problems. Pianos have slight differences between each of the strings. Usually a piano has three strings, at least for the higher strings. And uh, what that does is it creates some, uh, you know, kind of like almost like a natural chorusing effect. And so there's w multiple ways we can do that. One, we can use the detune, but let's try something else first. Let's use this all pass. So I explained this before. What this is going to do is it's going to offset the harmonics so the harmonics are a little bit out of tune. So I'll let you hear it here. That's way too much. We don't want that. Uh, so let's move this up here to different, differentiate the frequency like this. That's way too much. Let's move it up. So I can hear it's a little bit out of tune, but it's not too bad. Okay, that's what we want. But we don't want each string to have the same frequency, so we're going to use sequence again and just move it up not too far just like 4000 something like this so now let's hear it this is you know by itself one voice let's try three voices one voice three and then we can adjust the resonance here to make it more out of tune like this less like this and that sounds like really fake like your synthesizer okay that sounds better and of course we can add some actual detuning here add just a little bit sounds a little bit better now to me that's sounding pretty good and there's some other things we can actually do with this. So one of the problems I found is it sounds almost like um, 
when you have uh, a zero phase on an oscillator, you hear like this sharp percussive sound. And so there's actually a way we can kind of get rid of that. Uh, and that's by using a delay, delay each voice slightly. Let's get rid of the panorama. We don't like want that. Uh, could use this. Actually, we have it on sequence. And we're going to move it down. And it's not going to be a great delay. It's just going to be a small one. So let's try like. 1.6. So one will, uh, of the voices will start at zero, one will start at, I don't know, let's say uh, one millisecond, and one will start at 1.6, like this. And each uh, maybe adjustment of the delay will make it sound slightly different. So you can hear there's like all oh, these slight differences in tone. You can set that however you want. It's basically almost like adjusting the phase, uh, but do whatever you want with that. Uh, but that's one thing you can do to make it sound slightly better, at least in my opinion. And of course, you can adjust the detuning more. So like this would be like a maybe a well-tuned piano. But we can turn it up. We want like a honky tonk effect or something. And so I've actually been working on like a piano device. It's not quite ready, but hopefully I'll show it soon. So I'll show you how you can do something like this. This isn't actually appropriate because you play lower on the keyboard. It's not actually three strings, but this just gives you an idea of what you can do with this. You could do this with your own sound. Uh, and you don't just have to use physical modeling stuff. You could use the FM, you could use a uh, wavetable, whatever you want, any type of effects you can use in here. You see all sorts of things you can explore. So, hope this gave you an idea of some of the possibilities. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about it, leave those down below. And until next time, see you.